but we head to South Beach instead. The concussions that Tua Tungabailoa suffered last season, scary for all of us to witness. The Dolphins in the league clearly concerned. Quarterback to miss five games throughout the season. Now, Miami did pick up his $23 million fifth-year option in March, but Tua admitted he thought about stepping away from the game. I considered it, um, you know, for for a time, it would be hard for me to, to to walk away from from this game with with how old I am, with I mean, with my my son. I I always dreamed of growing, you know, playing as long as I could to where my son knew exactly what you know he was watching his his dad do, and um, yeah, I mean it. It's it's my health, it's my body, it, you know, and I I feel like this is what's best for me and 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 my family. So, I mean, I, I love the game of football. You know, if I didn't, I would have quit a long time. And Rob, you you play the game. I got to imagine that most players have what I would classify as a healthy fear every time they go and step out onto the field. You have been preaching this, though, for the entire season. Concerns for Tua. Take me through his comments that you heard today and combine that with what your observations have been throughout the course of the season. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm a Tua fan. I want to say that first. Um, I wasn't always a Tua fan, but just seeing when he came out on the field and I was able to talk uh, to his quarterback, Coach Daryl Bevel, over this past season, we were out there and just his anticipation, his timing, all of those things to me are at, a, are at an elite level. But when you're a franchise quarterback and every single time you get tackled, I mean, I mean, literally there were times last year I'm going, ah, ah, like every single time he hit the ground, to me that that's some cause for, for concern. Um, obviously, as a football player, as a, as a guy who's had multiple concussions, he had to think about his future. I think that's, re that's a responsible way of thinking. But if he feels that he can go forward, I think we have to to, we have to take him at his word, but I will say sometimes we have to, you know, doctors have to protect players from themselves, and it seems like everything is clear with to I just, <laughs> the jujitsu thing, it should help, but teaching a grown man how to fall again, to me, I'm just, I'm, ca I'm cautiously optimistic, let's just say that. Yeah, I, I do like what Tua said, though, at, at the end of that press conference. It's my health, my body, and it's certainly, to your point, M. Rob, not something that he takes lightly. Do you see here on the business side of things, Jim, Chris Greer, he was asked about Tua's fifth-year option that they picked up, uh, also asked about potential contract accession. Greer says everything is on the table. How does this all tie in? How do you see this evolving here when you do take in the health aspect? MJ, I don't see a real rush on either side of this one right now because it might benefit, frankly, both sides to wait a little bit on the contract extension, the Dolphins to see if Tua can go back out there and survive another bunch of hits that he's taken. You know, he's taken the jujitsu to learn how to fall a little bit better. Uh, and on Tua's side, if he proves that and he plays well, well, that only drives the price up. Now, the Dolphins are sitting there and saying, okay, we're willing to wait on that, but we did so show a sign of faith here, right? They did pick up that fifth year option and uh, guarantee $23 million for him this upcoming season. It's kind of like when you're, when you're playing poker and somebody makes a bet and you say, yeah, I I'm gonna call that bet so I can see the next card, basically. It's like in rounders when Mike says, I'm gonna call you, otherwise I won't have any respect in the morning. And Teddy KGB says, respect is all you have left in the morning. What a great movie that is, Mike Rob. Uh, but the bottom line is that the, the Dolphins are at least a little bit in here with some confidence in Tua. And if it plays out for both teams and they have to pay that big number, that's a good problem to have. It is a good problem to have. And I will say this one thing about jujitsu. It does help you with learning how to fall. I took jujitsu when I was playing fullback to kind of stick on blocks. You wear these heavy kimonos. And it's, I barely got through warm ups, Jeezy. But I will say this the quarterback position, oftentimes they're in compromised uh, positions. Obviously, the defensive player can't land on them anymore. So quarterbacks get swung a little bit, a, a lot more than other positions. And so, again, I just say it, it, it's tough. It's just tough because quarterbacks sometimes are in compromising situations. I hope Tua is safe and I hope he gets his money long term.
Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You can't just take one aspect of it and not consider all parts of this equation. But even just looking at the stats of those first four weeks of what we saw from Dua, finally playing at the level that I think the Dolphins knew he had in him. He had already passed for over 1,000 yards in those first four weeks of the season. So you juxtapose that with what he was on pace to do last season. It, it makes it even tougher to sort of take in the reality uh, of that injury. But you know what? It looks like he's in the right path, taking the right steps to finally get there. We'll see what happens in the 2020s.